Hello, my paranormal peeps, and welcome back to another Deep Woods Paranormal Podcast. My name is Matt Harvey. I am the host of the Deep Woods Paranormal Podcast. Uh, I'm also the founder and lead investigator of Deep Woods Paranormal, along with my wife, Amanda. We investigate everything paranormal, from ghosts to UFOs to dog man, big man, Bigfoot, um, UFOs, um, strange lights, uh, river monsters, lake monsters, cryptid creatures. If it's paranormal nature, we investigate it. All right. So um, that being said, also, I need to let people know uh, we've been helping a lot of people in their homes lately with ghosts and stuff like that. Uh, but we also help people with other things as well, Bigfoot research and stuff like that. So if you're having an issue with paranormal activity, um, please feel free to contact us. We don't charge for services. If you're in Central Texas, we can come out and help you. If you're somewhere else, we can essentially try and find another team or whatever to come help you as well. All right, so let's get into the paranormal news. I'm going to share my screen with you. I don't know what, okay, okay, I do know what this is on, okay. All right, so if you're listening on the audio podcast, uh, we are on speaker from iHeartRadio. That's our main platform. Uh, if you're on any other platform that we're on, you'll probably see this as well. Um, so my information's in the description. Also, all of our links to everything basically we do is also in the description. And I'll talk about these kind of one by one in just a second here. But uh, basically, if you want to listen to our podcast, come on to our speaker platform. If you're watching and you just want to, you know, listen, you're in the car or you're you're going to bed or whatever. We try not to make these podcasts too scary. We just want them. We just want to have them be fun and entertaining and show real actual paranormal evidence and uh, talk about things that are real so that you guys can make up your own minds and uh, you guys can choose whether things are paranormal or not. So on the paranormal news, what I do is I basically present you guys with videos or audio and uh, I kind of give both sides of the coin, if you will. I play devil's advocate. I I tell you why I think it's paranormal, and then I tell you why I don't think it's paranormal. And I tell you if I think it's faked or real. And again, you guys have to make up your own minds. Take everything you hear on here with a grain of salt. Uh, Any paranormal research at this point is just, it's, um, you know, it's all just theory, if you will. Uh, If we're looking at it from a scientific standpoint, it's just theory. There's there is proof out there, and we're gonna look at some of it today. So, anyways, let's let's keep going. Okay, so if if you're listening on the audio podcast and you'd like to watch the podcast, the links down below. This is our Deep Woods Paranormal YouTube channel. Um, we do more than just podcasts. Uh, we have full episodes of investigations, um, everything from ghosts to Bigfoot to UFO research and stuff like that. I don't think actually the UFO research is up there anymore because. YouTube took it down. Um, anyways, um, <laughs> that's what happened to my other account, by the way. Because <laughs> I posted something that was a little too real for them, I guess. Uh, okay, anyways. So basically, there's there's shorts in here, too, if you guys like shorts. Um, we have our, our little TikTok videos uh, that we have on here as well. So if uh, we're also on TikTok. Um, I don't know how much longer TikTok and a few of these other platforms are going to be around, but um, we'll see. Uh, we, we don't normally uh, post a lot of videos over on TikTok. We post most of our stuff here because it's longer than uh, about five minutes. So if you want to come over here and visit our YouTube channel, like I said, there's a lot of stuff on here. Uh, Bigfoot investigations, ghost hunts, and other things like that, not just the podcasts. Same goes for the Rumble channel that we have. Um, Almost everything that's on YouTube now is actually over on uh, Rumble. And uh, so this channel is growing like crazy. Uh, I think this started, we started this back in what, January or December of last year. I don't remember when we did, 
but uh, we're gaining followers like crazy. And uh, speaking of followers, thank you guys so, so much for following our channels, liking our videos, liking our audio, uh, giving us thumbs up for everything uh, like here. Um, if you would do me a favor, subscribe and uh, hit that notification bell so that uh, you don't miss anything. We do post quite a bit of content every week. Uh, normally we post four to five times a week, if not more, um, not just the podcast. We're going to be doing uh, more Bigfoot research and we're going to take you guys along for the ride on that. And then also I am working on putting together a Bigfoot show and then Amanda is going to be doing a different show of her own. Um, if you don't know, we are producers. Uh, we do own Deep Woods Paranormal Productions. And so basically when you see the Deep Woods Productions on the front of the videos, when in, in the intros, uh, essentially that's what, that's us. That's Amanda and I. We've worked with several producers over the years, everywhere from Fox to Discovery to um, MTV, believe it or not, producers that helped create the real world and stuff like that. We were working with them and uh, things happened and unfortunately, um, we weren't able to continue on with those projects. Um, nothing we did or they did. It just happened that way. So anyways, uh, if you want to watch a rumble channel here, they're here. Um, we like rumble a lot because they basically, uh, don't judge you. Our audio podcasts are also going to be here. So anything I uploaded to uh, YouTube will come across here. If you guys like listening to the audio podcasts, they will be here. Um, so like if you're driving or whatever, uh, and you can't uh, watch the video, you can turn it on audio wise, or you can go to our back here to our speaker page. And we're on, God, I think we're on 60 different audio platforms now. Um, so let me go up. This shows some of them, uh, but Pod Ch uh, Chaser is one of the newer ones we're on, and we're just getting followers like crazy. So uh, Podcast Addiction is also another hot one. Deezer, CastBox, uh, Good Pods, Google Podcasts, Spotify, iHeartRadio, Apple Podcasts. We're supposed to be on Amazon too, but um, basically uh, there's a lot more that uh, are not listed here. So... Anyways, getting back over here. And then if you just want a one-stop shop for everything, uh, our podcasts, our audio podcasts are right here. This is our Deep Woods Paranormal page. And uh, it's this is our podcast section of our website. You can come on here and you can click on any of these podcasts and you can listen for free. Uh, we don't ask for anything uh, unless you'd like to make a donation. And I'll talk to you about that in just a second. But our podcast, our YouTube channel is also on our website. If I'll switch over. So basically, whatever the last YouTube uh, video we put up, um, it comes here. So basically, you can see or listen to our podcast here as well. Uh, and then, of course, all our social media is down below if you guys want to follow us there. And then um, we are sponsored by Manscaped now. And... Uh, we just want to thank them for the opportunity. Um, if you get a chance, come over here to their website. And if you do decide to buy something, put in the prom, uh, the discount code DWP. And DWP stands for D Deep Woods Paranormal. Uh, but uh, I've been using their products for about a month now. Uh, I've used everything you see in the picture. Um, they have two different types of what's called crop preserver. Essentially, it's just deodorant. Uh, for down there, one's a spray, one's like a, a more like a creamy liquid that you spread down there. And then, of course, they have the, the trimmer and the nose hair trimmer. Uh, we also got some boxers and a T-shirt from them, which are amazing, by the way. If you want want some of those, I mean, I would get them off there. And then they sent us a carrying case, uh, a travel case, which was really cool. And we put basically everything in there, and uh, I basically leave it down there. If you want more, no more, hit the play now button on their site. Um, bear with me; it's three o'clock in the morning. All right, so we were talking about donations. This is the uh, Deep Woods Paranormal Buy Me a Coffee page. If you're interested in buying us coffee, um, they're about three bucks a piece. Our goal is to make two thousand um, dollars. 
to essentially help us buy a new uh, video piece of video equipment. Um, the two pieces of gear I've been talking about for two weeks are almost here. So I'm excited. we got the uh, two different pieces of gear coming and we'll, t- we'll do uh, maybe a standalone videos for those and show you guys those and, and uh, give you our opinions and maybe a breakdown of what we think of them. Uh, I have not seen very many people using a Tesla coil to do ghost hunting and I've not seen very many people use the geophone to do ghost hunting. Um, I've seen it on the TV shows, Nick, uh, Groff of, uh, what, I don't even know what group he's in now, but he's basically on his own. Um, uh, but he and Katrina were using it in that one show they were on. Um, so we're going to see, we're going to try it out and see if it works. Hopefully it arrives tomorrow. All right, let's get into what I call the news. And what we do on the news is essentially we watch videos or listen to audio or whatever, uh, in the future, I will be sharing our audio and video from different locations. Um, as I talked about, we're doing a Bigfoot show. Uh, we're in the process of starting to put it together. Uh, it's going to be a long process, probably about six months. Uh, we're going to be doing a lot of events in between there. And uh, so you guys will be able to come out and see us. I talk about the event out in San Antonio in May. Um, it's a big, big time event. We're going to have a lot of uh Bigfoot experts there and stuff like that. And uh, we're helping, we're working, helping somebody work on a Bigfoot video, uh, excuse me, Bigfoot movie, which is going to be amazing. Um, it's going to be a lot of fun. And uh, so you can meet some of the characters possibly and uh, meet Bigfoot himself, maybe. So if you're interested in that, follow us on social media. I'll probably talk about it on here as well. Uh, I'm not allowed to give out very much information yet so i want to be careful about what i say um because it's the movie's not my movie uh, but it's a friend's movie and i, I think it's going to be excellent so um anyways all right so let's start with this news um i call this the news but basically we're going to watch videos uh today of different paranormal activity going on uh don't worry if you uh, are listening on the audio I will give you a description of what's going on. Like I said before, I will give you a, you know, I'll tell you what I think about the video. Essentially, I'll break it down for you. Uh, I'll give you a kind of play devil's advocate. Um, why do I think it's real? Why do I think it's fake? Uh, whatever. And uh, so, and then I'll, I'll set this up for you uh, audibly. So you can kind of at least kind of mentally see it. Um, if you are, if you want to watch it later on, um, just a standalone video, the link will be down, will be down below for you to, uh, scroll down and find it'll be at the very bottom. So you guys can see all these videos and, uh, make up your own mind. Now, remember, take this all of the grain of salt. This is all just theory at this point. Yes, there is proof of ghosts and Bigfoots and UFOs and all this other stuff, but you really have to make up your own mind. Uh, it's like I always say, you have to have an experience. Was that a shadow in the doorway? You have to have an experience where, yeah, there's a shadow in the doorway. It just peeked out. <laughs> Anyways, you have to have an experience um, where you can say that couldn't be anything else but. What in the world? Can you just come out into the, mi- the middle of the doorway and just show yourself? Okay, so... Oh, I got the goosebumps. Oh, cool, cool, cool. Oh, thank you. Uh, we saw you. Okay, I'm going to stop sharing my screen for just a minute here. Holy crap. Just a second. Okay, so watching the video, there was a. Sh- there it is. Right there. So, right about where the light switch is, a shadow keeps peeking around the corner at us. Last week. Oh, there it is again. It's, it's just a dark silhouette. Thank you. We appreciate you. My wife's in bed, so it's, like I said, it's 3 o'clock in the morning. I'm kind of whispering because I don't want to be too loud. But uh, if you can see behind me, let me see if I can move the chair out of the way. These dolls um, are, are basically said to be haunted. This one I got at a thrift store. And I'm pretty sure she has some kind of energy. Same with the second one over there. Uh, she's a little creepier. We did a whole session, EVP session, 
with them and also a spirit box session with them. But I'd like to do a uh, geo box session with them as well. The Raggedy Ann doll on the end there, she doesn't have, I don't think she has any energy. I just bought her recently um, last year. So I, you know, from a regular store. I don't know if she has energy or not. Uh, we've taken her to several haunted locations, so maybe something is attached to her. And then there are several things over here um, that have a lot of energy to it. This little thing down here uh, is a um, razor, an, an antique razor. There's a dragon that came from a person that uh, passed away their home. Uh, the crystal ball is not. But there's other things over here on that table. Uh, oh. Do you guys see that? That's so cool. They are active tonight. Anyways, there's other things on that table that supposedly have attachments. Um, there's been a lot of activity in the house recently. So, I know you guys are saying, but you have haunted dolls. You know, that's just not good. Well, I've always been against bringing anything that had an attachment into the home. Um, over the years, I've collected a lot of stuff from people. And I've, before we moved from California to Texas, I disposed of most of it. And uh, the razor was one of those things. So, um, but at least I kept that. And I think I kept a couple of things. I can't remember what it was, but... The rule for them is that they have to stay in this area. They can't be disruptive or doing harm or causing problems or scaring anyone, anything like that. Our TV will turn on um, after we've closed out um, Hulu or Netflix or whatever, Roku, we've turned it off. Um, the TV sometimes will turn right back on to a program that we're, you know, we weren't even watching and TV volume will be all the way up. It'll, and it's always when you turn your back. It always makes you jump. So it happens eh, every once in a while. But yeah, I mean, I'm not going to get into all that. Anyways, uh, so yeah, there is some kind of attachments with these things. Uh, there seems to be somebody that likes to hang out in the hallway and peek around the corner as I'm sitting here doing my um, podcast. And if you listen through our podcast, sometimes you will hear EVPs. If you don't see me respond to it, it means that it wasn't me talking. There's nobody else in the room. Amanda's probably about three or four. No, she's probably about 30 or 40 feet away in the bedroom, probably sleeping. Uh, and the dogs and the cats and everything are not anywhere in, in here. They're, they're in the uh, other room behind me. All right, so let's go back to try and share my screen again. Every time I start showing any kind of evidence, the activity picks up. I think the kids get curious as to what's going on. We, I think we have at least three little kids here, uh, at least one or two little girls, and maybe a little boy too. Um, so anyways, without further ado, let's get back into the news. I apologize for interrupting that, but I wanted to see if we could see that shadow in the doorway. Keep your eye on it. Um, as we're watching this, you might see it poke its head back out. I can see it just like glancing out and dodging back every time I look back there through the camera. All right, so let's uh, let's play this. Um, let me set this up for you. This is from the Travel Channel. Uh, again, the link will be down in the description for you guys to come on here and watch this for yourself. So you can make up your own minds. Um, you can watch it however many times you want. So, all right. Uh, these two guys are investigating a uh, abandoned care home. I believe they're in England. And essentially, I forget what show this is. Um, I think it's, oh, it's Paranormal Con on camera. So anyways, they're uh, in a hallway. And they basically just picked up an EVP in the laundry room down below. And so he's hearing something upstairs. So as he's standing here, he looks up and he sees a figure dart to the right now remember dart to the right now i'll show you they show you later on in the video um where he saw this thing and just remember it darted to the right not to the left of the doorway but to the right now i'll explain why that's important in a second 
But at the time, Matt and Andy have no idea that a spirit is nearby. It's like good quality wallpaper. Yeah. yeah. So, but yeah, you can see us up again. Here we go. Hello. Okay. So they were talking and he pans up. There's there's a stairway. So I think they're, I don't know what landing they're on. They're probably the second or third story. Um, so they're um, just chit chatting. And then he pans up. And the stairways uh, open here, so you can kind of see the the landing above them, and something is actually looking down at them. And essentially, uh, he gets caught on camera. It looks like a shadowy figure. Uh, I've looked at this video a few times, and I can the the top portion of it's pretty solid. The bottom portion of the leg there looks kind of. Um, See through, and they'll they'll play this for you one more time. So let me keep playing this video. It was somebody stood at the top of the stairs, and as soon as I looked up and moved the camera up, whoever or whatever that might have been decided to move off. So that's good. He's taking a skeptical point of view, and he's saying, "What the hell is that?" Hold on a second. Oh, it's my screen. Okay. Never mind. <laughs> Had a piece of hair there, and it looked like looked like oh, <laughs> I don't know what it looked like. Anyways, it's like I said, it's three o'clock in the morning, and I'm half asleep. So, um, okay. Hopefully, you can hear him. I'll uh, probably boost the audio a little bit. But there's something black, like right here. Um, so basically, you're you're seeing the stairs on the left, and then there's a landing here, and essentially, there's something has come out to the the left of the other stair, the landing stairs, and it's basically looking down at them. So you can kind of see it. It's it's dark. It blocks, it blocks out everything behind it, which is a typical shadow figure type thing. Usually you can't see through them. Okay, did you see it just move? Now let's play devil's advocate here. Now, I mean, could that be somebody in an all black clothing with a hoodie on? Maybe uh, there, there's no light up there, so it's hard to see them. Yes, it could be. You know, it could be faked. Um, I mean, you could easily replicate that probably. Let's keep watching. And then you hear it like scuffle off. So let's hear what he has to say. My initial reaction was, who's that? Not what is that? So that's good. He's taking a skeptical point of view. He's he's thinking it's a person too. And so he gave chase. It was who is that? I thought it's a person. So he's running up the stairs giving chase. Whoa. Hold on a second. They missed something. So let's go back for a second. As he's running up the stairs, watch. It's a person. Let me see if I can pause this. Right there. Right there. Something just ducked out, ducked behind this door. Well, let me see if I can just pull this back just a hair. It's hard to see. Okay, so right as he goes around that corner. Right there. Okay, I'm sorry, I'm being a little loud. Okay, so this, it looks like there's something there. It like dodges back. This door has some, some ruffles to it. But there's something right here. There's a silhouette, this black silhouette right here. You can kind of see the upper torso, the upper like head portion of it. And then there's dark here, but there's no dark down here, only up here. Now that could be a play of the light too, um, because he's at a weird angle. So let's keep watching. And then it disappears. Now you can kind of still see it as he gets up there. It's right here. There's something black like right behind this door. But he doesn't see that portion of it, and they didn't catch that. So let's keep watching. So now, okay, he's at the landing um, looking up. And from what I can see, hold on, let me keep letting him play. Okay, so if you remember, I told you it goes to the right, right? Well, what's what's on the right? There's nothing there. It's a wall. So this thing literally ran into the wall. 
which is interesting. So let's keep playing this and hear what he has to say about that. That's from Cole because I saw somebody stood there. I saw a leg. Hello? But they went that way, and there's no way you can go. Exactly. I was scared. I felt on edge uh, when I got to the doorway, and I looked up and down the corridor, and there was nobody there. Okay. So, oh my gosh. I am getting goosebumps up and down my back and down my arms. These little kids love these shows. All right. So, I'm going to move on to the next one. Again, this will be linked in the description if you'd like to come take a look at this uh, and make up your own mind. Was that a person, a real person, or was it something else? That's for you to decide. You know, I'm not here. I'm not going to, I, you know, when I go into an investigation, yes, we debunk as much as we can. Um, we try and find X, X, uh, God, I can't talk alternative explanations for things, but, um, you know, watching these shows, I mean, I could, I can play, like I said, I can play devil's advocate all night long, um, uh, with this and I can go back and forth and back and forth. I could be on this video for hours trying to figure out what exactly happened, but I'm not going to do that. I want you guys to make up your own minds and, you know, it, you know, leave your comment down below. It was a person. It was just be nice. When you leave a comment, everybody so far has been extremely nice, extremely um, courteous with their comments. And I really appreciate that. Uh, and we thank you again for taking the time to leave a comment. But let us know what you think. Was that a person or was that maybe an entity that basically um, a shadow person that was just standing there observing them and then dodge to the right shadow people from my experiences and these are just my experiences most of the time they're in places that are haunted and most of the time they're just watching the paranormal investigator doing whatever he's doing now in demonic cases sometimes these shadow people there's there's shadow people and then there's demonic entities that look like shadow people and uh usually shadow people are very um they'll they move away as soon as you see them they'll disappear they'll dodge you know they'll they'll disappear somewhere um they'll move away from you you'll see them out of the corner of your eye um but they're usually not uh interactive with people and they're usually not um you know trying to hurt anybody uh and the demonic type shadow person is completely the opposite. They're trying to hurt you. They're trying to mess with you. They're trying to, um, you know, make you know, make you think you know that you're crazy and whatever else. Anyways, I don't want to get into that. We'll get into that in other podcasts. And you know, I, I say that I don't want to get into that. Only reason I don't want to get into that is because I'd rather discuss it in detail on another podcast. I would like to get through these videos and show you guys these. Uh, and I'm hoping you're enjoying this. Um, hope, hopefully uh, you're liking these videos and you're liking the audio. And hopefully I'm being descriptive of enough so you guys can kind of understand what's going on. So again, um, I guess the theme of this uh, paranormal news is paranormal call on camera. Um, th this is a TV show. So uh, basically just showing people's evidence. And unfortunately, I'm not able to find a lot of paranormal videos online anymore for some reason. Uh, but these shows actually show stuff. So I'm, this is what I'm showing you guys. Uh, and again, I'm just I'm a viewer kind of like you are. And I'm kind of mentally picking it apart or trying to decide for myself whether I think these things are real or not. So anyways, let's set up the next one. Um, so this is a ghost hunter. He's at, uh, let's see, let's look at the description real quick. It says, uh, Stalking Spirit. Now, this one's kind of creepy. I don't know if this is real or not. And again, you have to make up your own mind. So this paranormal investigator here starts hearing knocking. And I'll play the video for you guys so you can listen for yourselves. But he essentially, of course, it always ends, ends up with a creepy basement. Um Usually when you're investigating, it either ends up with a creepy basement or a creepy attic or both. So um, anyways, uh, he's going to go check out the creepy um, basement here. And then something basically kind of follows him, which is 
interesting i you know i've never seen anything like this before so let's watch this and you guys can kind of see what's going on uh, again link will be in the description for the audio and video podcast so you can come back on here and watch it for yourself if it'll play jeremy forces himself down into the basement okay so it looks like he's kind of in a living room slash kitchen area um he's just gone around the corner um and opened a door supposedly to a basement and he's looking down because he's hearing things let me play this actually back a little further back let me start it from almost the beginning okay so you're hearing the knocking and this knocking supposedly is coming from the basement how he knows this is coming from the basement and not somewhere else is kind of interesting uh, and the fact that they don't actually show the basement is a little frustrating. Um, but this probably comes from, you know, somebody's, you know, personal camera or security camera in their home. Um, let's keep watching this. You'll hear the knocking. And then he goes down, like I said, he goes down around the corner um, into the hallway and then down into the creepy basement. All of the activity generally starts out with banging. <laughs> A majority of the banging noises will be coming from the basement. Terrifying. Jeremy forces himself down into the basement. But he is not alone. Watch closely. Did you catch that? So, yeah, that's the true definition of a shadow person. Now, that to me, and you have to bear with me, that to me possibly looks like it's been manipulated maybe. It could possibly be a person just, in, again, in a dark outfit. Um, and th th this could have been faked. But, again, you have to make up your own mind. So let's watch this again. Watch again. As moments after Jeremy goes down into the basement, a man. Okay, so if this thing would pause when I hit pause for the fifteenth time, okay, let's let's watch this again right there. Okay, so again, this possibly could be an actual person. I mean, you can see hair, you can see what looks like an ear, you can see like the side of a head. And what looks like part of a T-shirt coming down, like on the side of his arm here. Uh, let me see, right here. If you're looking at it sideways, it looks like looks like about here. Uh, the sleeve comes down on his arm. Um, this is not a black silhouette. And then he seems to have something on, like his belt or something. And then you can see the leg. Um, the camera itself. The infrared camera is not the best. It's probably very. It's probably an older video. Uh, I would imagine it's probably like an old Sony camera, uh, maybe a video ca video camera with actual um, VHS cassette cassette tapes in it. The small ones that they used to have. Like we used these um, when we first started. That's all they had. They didn't have digital, fully digital. They had tapes, and you had basically play the tapes. So, anyways. This thing follows him down into the basement, supposedly. Let's watch. A massive dark shadow hulks across the hallway. And this thing just does not want to pause. It's weird how it won't pause right where I want it to pause. Dark shadow hulks across. There we go. All right. So if you're watching this video, I paused it at uh, about 56 seconds. And you can kind of now see it a little bit better. Again, as it gets zoomed in, it gets more and more pixelated. Um, so, and then this is, this hallway is pretty dark. Um, could it be a shadow person? Yes, it definitely could be a shadow person. Sorry, my little one's barking at on me. You're probably saying, hey, come to bed, stupid. It's almost four o'clock in the morning. Anywho, so it walks behind him. Um when you look at it this way, there is really no defining features. Um, it does block out whatever's, you know, it, it beside it. So that's kind of interesting. Uh, but again, the, the 
the video is so pixelated that it's really hard to make out anything. It, the further away you get from the camera, the um, more blurred it gets. So it's not like a well-defined shape, um, and that's that's part of the problem. So let me let me play this yeah. and follows him. Yeah, and that's not all. Listen carefully. A disembodied voice down in the basement calls out to Jeremy. Tw okay, so essentially a disembodied voice. Okay, so what a disembodied voice is, is a voice that you can actually hear like I'm talking to you now. Um, it's usually pretty clear, pretty loud, loud enough for you to understand what it what it is. You may not be able to understand what it said, but you you will be able to understand that you did hear something. It's not always a voice. It could be footsteps. It could be like knocking. It could be all kinds of different things. Uh, anything vocal um, doesn't have to be a voice. So he got basically it said hi to him twice uh, while he was down there. Which is apparently... Uh more than Jeremy can take. <laughs> Jeremy leaves JB's house, never to return. When JB reviews the footage, he understands why. Okay, so it sounds like somebody followed him back up the stairs and was banging on the door trying to get through the door to get out. Um, I don't know. I don't want to be mean to other people's videos, but as a paranormal investigator, I'm looking at this going, yeah, that's that's really cool. Could it be real? Yes. Could it be fake? Yes, definitely could be faked. Um, so, yeah, I, you know. I don't know. You guys have to make up your mind. Let's move on to the next one. All right. So in this one, you can already see. Let me just. You can see um, this gentleman goes to the door to get a package that's just been delivered. His wife is sitting on the uh, couch. And then next to her, there's some kind of thing. Um, it almost looks like an alien Oh, oh, like a Jedi with the, with the skull for a face and skull for hands. They're calling this like a Grim Reaper. Uh, but essentially it's a, it's a home camera. Maybe he has, you know, some kind of uh, just security camera up by the door in case somebody breaks in or something. And essentially you can see her sitting on the couch and him come up to the door. So just let's, let's play this. I opened the door to see what was going on. I noticed my package was damaged. Wanted to see if it was because the guy dropped it or just it came destroyed. So when we went back to see how the package showed up on the video camera, that's when we noticed it. What they notice is this. Watch closely. Do you see it? Okay, so I'm going to pause it here. Let me actually move it back just a tad. We're going to play it just for a second. There. Okay. So, again, when this gets zoomed in, it gets really pixelated. Um, so, again, probably an older camera or a low-end uh, camera, essentially um, focusing in on something sitting next to his wife that he didn't know at the beginning. Um, now, looking at this, I see something that looks like kind of like a head. Um, and what you're seeing with the cloaked part of it actually looks like a shadow. Like it's a shadow is being cast across. Or it could be, it could be a hood. Um, and looking down, you know, there's something kind of gray here. Uh, they're calling it the Grim Reaper. I don't know if it has a skull for a face. Now, I've had my own experience with a creature like this. Uh, in a house I lived in as a teenager. And uh, I've talked about this many times on many podcasts. You guys can go back and listen to that. But um, 
I know those things are real. Uh, usually demonic entities will sometimes appear to you as something that scares you the most for some reason, you know, a skull, um, a uh, skulled figure with bony hands and a cloak over it uh, scared the living bejesus out of me for however long we live there. So anyways, yeah, they're saying that this is some kind of creature, uh, some kind of ghostly act, uh, apparition. Um, but it looks pretty solid to me. You can't, you can, can't see through it, which is interesting. Um, and when they zoom way in like this, it's really hard to tell what it is. Um, this could just be something leaned against the back of the couch. Uh, it doesn't look like it has legs or anything like that. And uh, again, they're saying this is a bony hand, but that could just be a reflection of something um, off, off the, off the camera. I'm sorry, off the coffee table. Um, so let's listen to what they have to say. Here. Next to David's wife, a chilling figure with a skeletal face and black hooded robe. As David moves around the room, he blocks the camera for a few moments. But when he steps out of the way, the frightening figure is still there, staring straight ahead. So the fact that it's still there and he's saying it's staring straight ahead. It hasn't moved. Again, that kind of throws up um, like, hey, that could be staged to me. Um, somebody just wanting attention. You know, paranormal stuff gets a lot of attention these days. Um, I don't really see, a, a, you know, a skull, a skull for a face here. I do see the two eyes. I see the nose. Uh, I see the like the chin, but I don't really see any kind of a hood. Um, not going to be wrong. Again, you guys kind of make up your own minds. To me, this looks more like a ghostly face, to be honest with you. And again, it's not transparent. You can't see through it, uh, which is interesting. So, and of course, they black and white did it. God, that doesn't look normal at all. Deep black sinking eyes, very old looking skin that looks kind of melted with this weird black hair. And it had a hood on with a gray pale face. It was really disturbing to see. Especially because David's wife is the only other person in the living room. My mom was on the couch. Dad was picking up a package. I was upstairs playing video game, and also my sister as well. She was just upstairs in the room. So, what is this thing? It seems as though someone or something is seated next to the mother on the couch. And when you zoom in, there definitely seems to be facial features, hair, a seeming body, and... The thing that's the scariest, the thing that looks the most garish, is the face. I mean, this did not look like a person. The face. Okay, so that's the, their experts trying to basically say, "Oh, it's for sure something." Um, again, you could stage a doll to look like this. I mean, you could get a creepy doll. You could do all kinds of stuff to it and set it next to you. And the fact that it's not moving um, and it's there for a long period of time is very unusual for the paranormal. Usually when you see something paranormal or appears on camera or whatever, um, it's there and then it's gone. Basically, a lot of the times, I believe that it's just basically an imprint on the camera. The entity is using the video um, to imprint itself on there. That's why you, you don't really sometimes see things with your own eyes, but yet the camera picks it up. Um, so who knows if this is real or faked? Only the people that live there really know if they did this. Um, it seemed a little staged to me, um, the way it just shows the figure perfectly. And look at her watching the camera like, you know, she knows that it's there. 
She's not afraid. She's not anything. She's just watching him do whatever he's doing. But she's, you know, you can see the same thing. Look at look at her face. Her face is distorted. You can kind of see her eyes, but her hair comes down, and you can't really see her mouth. You can, her nose is all distorted. Um, she looks paranormal. You know, if if this thing wasn't here and you're looking straight at her, you know, she kind of looks at par- paranormal. And I'm stopped the video at 203. So if you want to come back and watch this again, you guys got to make up your own minds. It's it's if it's real, it's a cr- it's a creepy, cool catch. If it's fake. Then, you know, shame on them for doing that. But anyways. All right. This one's really cool, too. Um, This guy, I don't know what the, the whole thing was. I'm going to play it from the beginning. Um, He records a baby gate. He records a baby gate closing. Now, we have these in our house. We have dogs, and we try and keep the dogs in certain places, especially at night, so they don't do anything stupid and destroy anything. Um, So he's basically standing here. He's got the baby gate open. And uh, it slams shut as he's recording something else. He's not even really paying attention to it. So then he basically goes on to um, open it again and say, can you slam it shut? This is this to me is pretty interesting unless it's been modified in some way. So let's watch this video. A minute later, he urges the entity to confirm its presence. <laughs> can you close the gate for me one more time, please? Are you good? Can you close the gate? Oh my god, dude. I love how these videos never seem to um, pause when you hit the pause button. Anyways, so yeah, he um, had some kind of experience and he asked them to close the gate and you see it actually is stationary for a good, you know, 10 seconds or so before it slams it slams it doesn't buckle but it does slam and then bounce back open like something had pushed it really hard now if somebody was on the other side and and basically trying to um, push this closed let me move this out of the way bear with me for a second all right so you can kind of see the baby gate um to basically have thrown this shot, you would have to either push it from the top or the bottom on this side, or you'd have to basically push it, you know, twist it from where the hinges are and stuff like that. So let's let's keep watching this. My name is Justin Soto, and I'm the one that filmed the moving baby gate video. When the gate shut, I it took my breath away. I don't know if that's what it was. I couldn't even process it right away. I was pretty scared when it happened. Okay, so that's cool. That uh, shows you there was actually nobody there. I like how they showed the whole gate. And let me go back so you can see this. So here you can see almost the whole gate. Let me go to the video. So let's rewatch the video here. When the gate shut. Okay, so you can see he's not doing it on purpose, but I like that it worked out this way. You can see that there's nobody over here. um, Basically pulling that shut. um, Pushing that shut. Like uh, you know, pushing their hand out and, and shutting it as he's doing his thing. Um, also, I don't see any strings or anything like that. So let's just it, watch. It took my breath away. So I don't know if that's what it was. And then, of course, his reaction of, oh, my gosh, what just happened? Um, that tells you a lot, too. He's freaked and he's genuinely freaked and unless he's a really good actor. I don't know. I don't think I don't think that was fake. I think that possibly was real. It's probably one of the most real videos we watched tonight. Okay, let's move on to the next one. Okay, so this is a paranormal caught on camera. 
and it doesn't say anything else. So let's just watch this video. Hello. I know I hear you down here. Yeah, let's start this from the beginning. All right, here we go. Hello. Okay, another basement. Um, this guy had just turned on the lights going down the basement. Watch, if you're watching this video, watch to the right as he's walking down the stairs. Um, essentially, somebody ducks out from behind the wall on the right. I know I hear you down here. I know I heard you. Holy Okay, so as he's walking down the stairs, let's review this back just a little bit. There. You see something peek around the corner. Um, again, another shadowy figure. This one's a little strange looking. It looks like it almost has like ponytail, but there's no defining features to it. Um, this could possibly be a, a head, and this could be like a shoulder if you will. Um, this one's kind of creepy. Basements, for some reason, seem to hold a lot of energy. Um, and so, you know, if you think about it, there isn't really very many places in this world where somebody hasn't died. And so we're building our homes, we're building buildings and all this other stuff on top of these locations. And sometimes when you do that, you disturb the grave even though you know the bones might be thousands of years old, there, there may be nothing left of the actual grave, so they don't know. You know, they don't know that they're burying their building on top of a cemetery. So, anyways, like I said, basements seem to have some kind of energy to them, or they also could be a place the spirit goes to basically get away from us. Maybe they don't want anything to do with us. What the heck was that? Look back in the doorway behind me. <laughs> there is a lot of activity going on behind me. The kid, I know the kids like these videos, but uh, something else is watching me. Last, like I said, the last time I did the um, video on Sunday, that we did get on on the audio, we got a uh, male voice, and I'll go back next time we do the news. I'll go back through those with you guys, uh, and we'll play. Some of the podcasts, I mean, some of the audio clips uh, or possible EVPs, if you will, that we've gotten during doing an EVP session. I mean, during doing a uh, podcast session. All right, so let's keep playing this. Just saw, holy man, holy, holy, dude, I swear to gosh, there's nothing down here. My natural reaction was to turn around and run up. But I like when I turned around, like I slipped. And I just fell down the stairs. So that's pretty creepy right there. That would be pretty hard to fake unless you had, again, some kind of a, something, an object that kind of looked like a human that was all black um, that you kind of tilted out, you know, into the, into the doorway and then pulled it back real quick. Um, again, that could have been faked. But the, his reaction and to whatever was going on, then he goes down there. And then as he sees this thing, he freaks and he literally slips down the stairs. He, I mean, he went to turn and run and, and I'm guessing his foot slipped and he just started sliding down the stairs. That's pretty creepy. Well, let's keep watching this. And then like I was in like panic mode. So, yeah. That's uh that's pretty cool. Let's keep going. Let's let's watch this last one. Um hopefully I don't get in trouble for airing all this stuff, but uh these are basically just previews for this show. Um if you want to go watch the show, I would I would highly recommend it. I've seen this paranormal caught on camera before. It seems pretty legit. They look like they actually post real stuff. So um anyways, let's keep watching. Oh, I, I'm sorry. I need to describe this. Okay, so this looks like it's outside somewhere. Again, camera is not very good. Um, it does not look like a night vision camera. It looks like just a regular 
you know camera that does not have night vision so it's not green uh and what it appears like is something crosses the road multiple times uh changing forms as it goes across now could this be a ghost maybe could it be a skinwalker maybe could it be um somebody just playing a prank who knows let's let's watch this a wispy childlike figure appears in the middle of the street right where the car just sped through out of nowhere and then and there's the dog a dog-like figure almost transparent enters from the right then a second childlike energy joins the duo out of nowhere Originally, I was like, okay, this had to have been a kid or something. And then, you know, I was like, well, it, it couldn't have. We were all sitting out there at that time because we remembered the truck that went by at first. And we're like, well, we were sitting out there when all that happened. There was no kids behind that truck. Okay, so let's go back. I like that he shows the... Uh... I like that it shows the truck going by and it shows you that there's nothing really out there. Um, the fact that it looks like a, a dog and, and maybe a kid or two come running by with the dog. Uh, that's very interesting. Could this be faked? Um, yeah, that could actually be a, a real dog and a real little kid or a couple little kids. But, you know, I think he's being pretty honest. I don't think he made this up. I don't think they expected to see this. So to me, that tells me, you know, it's a little bit stronger evidence. Yes, it could possibly be real. Um, you know, I've, I've encountered a ghost dog before on our very first case. It was interesting. And I actually have, I think I've been seeing um, my old dog Farley possibly uh, around lately. So uh, the other dogs seem to be kind of reacting to him. Um, the, the ghost dog or it could be another dog I don't know but it seems like it's Farley I hope it is I really miss that puppy so anyways um, I'm sorry if I keep saying um so this these entities are like playing around in, in the street and I wish this was in infrared because it'd be a little bit clearer but you kind of see what looks like a Doberman not a Doberman a Dalmatian uh, again it is almost four o'clock in the morning um so bear with me here uh yeah so basically it looks like a dalmatian and these little kids look like they're playing with the dog so my thinking is okay we need to do some research and look back for maybe hit and run accidents maybe a couple little kids got in you know injured or killed in the street along with their dog maybe they were chasing after the dog uh when the dog got hit and they got hit by a car or something um I'd be very interested to find out more about the history of this street and see, uh, you know, what happened. Uh, are, are there registered deaths of kids, you know, being hit on the street? Uh, can't The dog would probably not be something you could find, but maybe the kids you could. So, yeah, this is an interesting video. It's not very clear. Again, it's very pixelated because it's not really meant to be a night vision camera. Um, I would imagine it's just basically is keeping an eye, an eye on their front yard. Uh, probably has a motion light that comes on when um, something comes close. Bear with me as I scratch my head here. So the fact that no lights or anything come on is also kind of telling. So this is cool. Um, again, you got to make up your own mind. It's 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 pretty hard to see. You you can come back here and watch this video as well. All right, let me stop sharing my screen for a minute. All right, so yeah, I mean, I have my own little camera up here on the left over my uh, right shoulder, actually. Uh, it keeps an eye on everything. Usually I have it pointed towards the haunted dolls and haunted objects, and it has picked up a few things in the office before. What I'm thinking is on the next Paranormal News, uh, we've had this camera set off by something uh, when nobody was in here several times. Maybe we'll review those videos uh, with you guys in a standalone 
video or maybe we'll do it on the paranormal podcast i'm sorry the paranormal news podcast and uh, if we did get anything but uh, I, I can go back over some of the audio clips we've gotten the evps if you will uh, and all evp is is electronic voice phenomenon meaning that when you're recording something like the podcast on audio you get a voice hello You get you get a voice that you didn't hear um, when you're basically uh, talking at the point in time. Now, a disembodied voice again is something that you actually hear audibly, and it can be a voice, it can be anything. Like I just heard what sounded like "Hey" or "Hi" over my shoulder. Um, it seems like the little kids are playing in the hallway. So, anyways, um, you know. So essentially, um, yeah, that's that's it for this podcast. If again, if you guys want to be on the show, uh, we'd love to hear your story. Uh, if you have a video you want to share, an audio clip, or you just have a story, uh, we'd love to talk to you about it. Again, there is no judgment on this show. Uh, we're not going to sit here and debunk your video or tell you it's fake or anything like that. We're just going to listen to your story and enjoy it. And uh, people can make up their own minds. So. Again, thank you guys so much for watching and listening and uh, sharing our our uh, content on social media. If you guys can give us a like and a share onto your uh, social media platforms, we are growing like crazy. Um, our podcasts are going nuts right now. We've, uh, we're gaining a lot of people on YouTube. We're gaining a lot of new people on Rumble following us and other platforms too. So if you'll do us a favor, uh, share this video or share this audio clip on your Facebook or Twitter or Instagram or wherever you follow us at, uh, we appreciate it. And uh, again, you know, love to have you on the show as a guest and uh, we'll stay tuned because we'll have a few more podcasts coming out today. Uh, maybe the Bigfoot only podcast will come out today and then maybe the crypto news tomorrow on Saturday. And then on Sunday, we'll try and get the uh, Paranormal Podcast out. So, all right, guys. Well, we appreciate you. And uh, thank you guys for listening to me ramble on for however long this has been going on for. And we will catch you on the next one.